Okay, so let's talk about extractions. Uh, what we're going to need to extract geometry from another geometry is going to be uh, masking. So make sure that you go over the masking tutorial in ZBrush. Now, um, the rules are very simple. You are going to create a mask. You're going to mask something on your character by holding the control key. right? And I'm going to use the mask pen, for example, right here. And uh, what's good about the mask pen is that it's very freehand. You know, you're not limited to specific shapes. But if you wanted to use different shapes, just um, select something like the circle and mask a circle, right? And then you're going to go to the tool palette. And inside of the subtool menu, at the very bottom, you're going to see the extract menu. Okay, and in there, we have the uh, smoothness, we have the thickness. If we want a thin border, if we want corners and quads to triangles, a double sided surface extraction, which means that half of your extraction will occur outside of the surface and then the other half will occur inside of the surface. All right, and then we have the accept extracted polys to a new subtool, meaning that as soon as we see the preview, which is what's going to happen once we hit extract, we're going to get a preview, right? And as soon as you make any changes or you remove the camera, that preview will disappear. So you're going to have to hit extract again. So as soon as we have the preview and we're happy with what we see, then we click accept for ZBrush to create a subtool. All right, so let's give this a try. I'm going to click extract to see the preview. All right, and look what happens as soon as I move my camera, right? My preview went away. So I'm going to have to hit extract again. Let me make my brush smaller. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to increase my smoothness all the way to 100. All right, so let me show you the uh, double sided. Let me click on extract, right? And if I turn on my transparency and my ghosting, and hit extract again, you will see how the geometry extrudes on both the outside and the inside. All right, so sometimes you may want that, sometimes you may not want that, all right? So I'm gonna deselect it and then I'm gonna hit extract again. And notice that the geometry now only extrudes towards the outside. Okay, so once we've extracted the shape that we want, right, you can change the thickness for example, you can try 0 0.07 or you can make it really thin, right? Maybe a little bit too thin. All right. You have to hit accept. As soon as you click on accept, and I'm going to scroll down so you can see this happening. As soon as I hit accept, right, you will notice that ZBrush creates a new subtool. If I select the subtool and click on the eyeball so it's isolated, here's our new extraction. Be aware that ZBrush will mask the front and the back faces, and that also ZBrush has polygrouped the inside shape, the outside shape, and the edges for us for easy use. So, what we have to do first is we have to clear the mask. I click and dragging with the control key and we are ready to sculpt our mask.